living cheap. Well, you want financial independence. And to get financial independence, it's a two-part equation. Cut your expenses and increase or keep an income. Therefore, in the gap, you have a surplus of money. Thus, you have the resource to live on your terms. So out of the two-part equation, cutting your expenses or increasing your income, most people tend to look at cutting their expenses first. You know, you get laid off of your job, you want to cut your high cable bill, you want to cut your internet. Um, and most people, look, they're trying to get out of working as hard as possible. Most people, that's just what they want to do, and I understand that. So in this video, we are going to talk about mainly cutting your expenses, living as cheap as possible, okay? So to live at the cheapest level while still maintaining a level of mobility and stability with regards to living a quality life that has focused energy and not a destitute um, drifter life, you would live in your car with a tent, okay? Tent living, tent camping is the cheapest way. However, you'll see in many cities in America where there's homeless, there's what they call like tent cities, where people don't have a car, they just have a tent, and usually they're homeless people with a drug or mental problem. So as a tent camper living out of your car, you have to understand like you are technically in that pool of people. However, there is a difference Okay, because you do have a car, number one, you have mobility. Two is hopefully you have a level of stability with your mind and with your body. And three, hopefully you're still maintaining an income so that you have a surplus of money at the end of the month so you have a resource. But what's the cheapest way to live? It's not a small RV. Uh, it's not even a cheap travel trailer. The cheapest way to live, specifically on the road or anyway, is, look, living in your car and out of a tent. And that, look, you could just live out of your car and try to stealth camp night to night at different locations. But for many people that may wear them out, they may not have uh, locations that are suitable in their area. So look, like I've shared with you on my journey, you can legally do it. Uh, get yourself a thousand trails camping pass, okay? Be a tent camper at campgrounds. Again, you're gonna have to look in your area to see how many campgrounds are available, but it's the cheapest way to live. I mean, you can cut the apple so many ways and try to figure out, you know, but, you know, tent camping and living out of your car is the cheapest way to live. And it's legal. And for many times, even if you set up your tent at a campground or something like that, and you decide to just stay in your car with a fan or you run the extension cord into your car for an air conditioning or heating, you know, you, this, your car, whether it's a regular car, SUV or minivan is the best tent that they ever made. Okay. Because a tent is just a piece of, uh, a fiber cloth basically that surrounds you. This is, you know, steel, aluminum, or whatever it may be. So this is better to shield you from the elements than any tent. Okay. But again, to be compliant, sometimes you have to set up your tent. But for those who are trying to live really on the cheap, there's no simpler way. Uh, and that's what really kind of gets me, the simplicity. Because as, as soon as you add a travel trailer, you're going to add some more comfort, but you're going to add some more complexity. Uh, any RV... And even the bigger the rig, bigger the car, the more the more complex it is. So if you're like me, you always tend to want to gravitate towards the simplest solution. And what I'm here to tell you is after looking at pretty much every RV, every way to live the nomadic life without living the destitute life, okay? You know, without living like on the street literally and not having any mobility or stability, I mean... Your car is a great resource. It's transportation to get you to a job. It's transportation to help you travel. And it's transportation to get you out of Dodge if an area is unsafe. Use that flexibility and never, you know, never stay idle if it's time to move on. Because knowing when to move on and actually moving on is flexibility. 
But if you have the ability to move, but you don't move, that's stubborn. Okay, that's being stubborn. And you're you're disregarding your number one asset, which is your flexibility. If you're at a campground, if you're stealth camping, if you're in, a, in an environment that is unhealthy, uh, not good people around, not a good environment, you got to move. Now, use your flexibility. But look, you can um, easily get caught in, in an overly complex life living on the road. And after living on the road for a while, which I have for three years full time, there's always a t- t- temptation to upgrade. And I'm not saying you should never upgrade or I won't. But what I'm trying to tell you is the simplest, cheapest way to live is out of your car and being registered as a tent camper at a campground. Any campground. It doesn't have to be Thousand Trails. I only recommend that because it's pretty much the cheapest package uh, that you can get. You know, For under $1,000 a year, you can pretty much go from park to park if you only stay four days and uh, you're good to go. You know, you got to account for fuel costs, but... Um, you know, it's an option. Okay. Uh, it's not something I do every day as far as being at campgrounds or something like that, but it's in my back pocket. And, um, it's just what I want to share with you. It's what I want to share with you in this video because, uh, you know, I know that people look at the simple life and they look at trying to get their life back under control and they look at living cheap. I, I, I cringe a little bit when I say living cheap because, again, I know everyone looks at the part of the equation where they cut their expenses, but you have to have a certain income, okay? And I, I think that's $2,000 a month take home or up, and that's pretty much about 12 to $15 per hour if you worked a full-time job, so that's not, you know, working, you know, high corporate stress job. Uh, but continue to build your career as best you can, or if you're retired or if you're really uh, not in a position to be able to do it, then, you know, do what you got to do. You know your own situation. But hopefully, you know, just me sharing, uh, which I've shared before, but, you know, I guess I'm at the season two where there's some videos now, uh, just about three years doing YouTube and over 2000 videos I upload. There's some videos now that are a little bit repetition and that's okay because look, when you go to the gym, all you're doing is repeating something, you know, all you're doing is repeating the same exercises you do. It's not like rocket science as far as like you're doing this brand new exercise. So YouTube will get to that point too, where there's some topics that I hit on and they're repetitive. Uh, because a- after you get to a certain point when you've been in the gym for a couple of years and you're at your stabilized weight, you keep going to the gym, but you don't do anything different. You just repeat. So some of my videos, you know, will be repetitive regarding the topic. You know, I try to put a little bit twi- different twist on them. I try to give a variety of topics and sometimes I show RVs, sometimes I show locations, traveling, and sometimes we just talk on life topics, nothing to do with the simple life. But either way, uh, to keep a rhythm, to keep a consistency, And to share what's on my mind, um, I will continue to go forward, whether it's a a repetitive topic or a brand new topic. So if you appreciate this video, click the thumbs up button. Check out my playlist, which has all my different videos from the beginning of my journey three years ago. Uh, You can check out my Patreon too. Uh, If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.